yo all right so welcome back to the channel guys um so today we are reviewing the uh retro gray beast and um i don't have the blue beast sadly i would like to have him but you know, you know he's very up in price how much is he again like 32 dollars now before you say i have actually bought things way more than that but like they're kind of worth it. Anyways. So yeah. Um, this figure is good. There's, there's no denying that. This figure is obviously good. The body is great and everything. I don't really have to tell you if it's worth the buy or not. But like yeah. This body is really good. Alright. Alright. So if you want it. Go get it. Unless it's like overpriced. and Don't get it. But like it, it's a good figure. And let me tell you why. Well, let's look, let's, <clears throat> let's look at the sculpt work. Obviously, you can tell, you know, the fur is sculpted and everything, you know, shorts are sculpted on. And, you know, hair. Well, I can't really say hair because, you know, he's all fur. No, sculpted really well, you know. And as people point out in the Blue Beast, you know, the original Caliban release, this was like just black and then this was all light. But now, since it's Grey Beast, it, it makes kind of more sense, I guess. So obviously, the coloring is pretty good, if there is any, which there's not. And let's check out this head sculpt. So without the glasses, this is a real kind of, it, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna say it. it's kind of weird. It's not perfect, obviously. This is a little bit more early Hasbro, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Honestly, again, the hair gray on top. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a nice head. You know. I'm not saying this, I guess it looks like Beast. I don't know. I'm not much of an X Men guy, to be honest, but. I'll collect them if I want. So yeah, um, scope work and all of that is good. Uh, I mean, I I can't really say paint. There's not much paint on him. So yeah, now that we have that out the way, let's talk about accessories. So obviously he comes with glasses in the book. So let's talk about the glasses. You know, the easiest thing. So this actually these glasses aren't meant for him. Believe it or not, because as you can see, they're way spread apart. So if you spread them out a little, I mean, you know, bend them a little bit, do that. Get your nearest figure, which I don't know where my nearest figure is. Hold up a second. <laughs> That's not on correctly, but get your nearest figure and you can just put this on them like normal. Why didn't they just do this with the retro Spider-Man? I have no idea. As he falls. Again, this is really spread out, but like if you just, you know, you can have that. Um, why did I pick the glasses over there? I'm, I'm going to say something about Vulcan real quick, though. He's broken. So I have to order a new one. But we'll still use them for scaling and all that. But yeah, the glasses aren't really made for him, but you can still get them on. And let's talk about this book. It looks nice. The paint works on is nice. Um, just random scribbles, but it looks nice. It's all spaced out, like, as if you actually... You know, you write in a journal, you know, you have, I don't know, D or something maybe, but then again, this is probably not. And then the dates on it and all that, you know, it's pretty nice. Looks pretty good, you know, has actually a ton of detail. I mean, it makes sense, this figure barely has any paint on it. And to put that on, you just put it through here like so, and there you go. And to put these on, you just push it on his face, you know, grab uh, I mean, it's a little bit challenging, but it's not really. They stay on, of course, if you shake it hard enough. Obviously, I did lightly, because I actually kind of like them with the glasses on right now. And, um, he comes with that hand and the fist, but he also comes with other hands, you know. More gripping hand. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> more gripping hand. Now, obviously, since I've had this figure for, like, a year, two years, the paint on the nails have came off, but he also has his, you know, hand. <laughs> I don't know what hand this is, but it's for you to, like, 
you know, has him down, you know, uh, let me grab Spider-Man real quick. It's a flat hand, so you can pretty much just... Do this if you want, but with the flat hand, so you can have him pose in, like, something like this. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't really want to take the hands off. But he doesn't only come with that stuff, he also comes with another head, which is an angry head sculpt. Now, this was on the blue beast and even on the new beast. And it looks great, not as much gray on top, but it's still green nonetheless, more dark, you know. And you know, it's the teeth is kind of like unpainted, but that's not how it came. Uh, I, I, I've i been messing with this thing ever since I got it, but then I stopped, but... Then picked it up again, then stopped again, then you know the drill. But uh, yeah, as for articulation, just like your new Spider Man body in the retro mode, he comes with the, uh, the, the double joint diaphragm joint, I guess you can say. You know, it doesn't crunch that far, doesn't crunch that back, no side to side really. But once you do this, that's when it gets great. He comes out this much. But that's mainly because of the ab crunch, the inverted ab crunch. Now, as he has butterfly joints that actually work compared to other butterfly joints that nowadays, you know, his arm just comes up this far. Sorry, sorry. But yeah, his arm comes this far. He has a, you know, bicep swivel, double joint elbows, which come this far. You know, swivel, hinge, looks up this far, this far down. Uh, no way swivel, obviously, because of that ab crunch. Kicks this far, uh, has drop down hips, so, I mean, he still kicks the same, nonetheless. I don't know why people say, oh, he does it a little height. No, it's the same. And then he, okay, that that's scary, but <laughs> I cut double jointed knees. Let me go up that, oh wait, this far. Okay, they don't go up much, but like, so go down this much. And then toe movement, wow. So, yeah. This was before the Spider-Man body, I just want y'all to know that. No, y'all should already know that. If you don't, I don't know where you've been living. But, uh, yeah, he... It's pretty good articulation. You can get them in plenty of poses if you want. Let's take this head off. Put this head on. And there we go. Now we have an angry beast. Okay, I know I said I didn't want to put this on, but never mind. We're moving the posing segment so I can do what I want. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Pretty generic pose. I don't know why. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, he can go in this pose or something. Yep. But if you want him to do like a Roman Reigns style Superman punch, but off the top rope, so I guess more like a Logan Paul punch. So, um, yeah. Or if you just want him crouching, you know, you can do that too. Switch the head out. Or, you know, want him on his tippy toes. Sorry, I'm not the quickest at... Um, posing. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you can't get him to stand like this, like, just on this. But, it's not really likely for me, I guess. But, uh, yeah. You can get him as many poses as you want. And pretty much any pose you want. So, yeah. 
It's like the one good figure Hasbro can really get nailed down, I guess. That was a joke, but, you know, uh, sad I have to specify that. So now, how well does he scale with other figures? That is a great question. Let's answer it. So first off, yeah, he obviously has no neck for some reason. But who's really complaining? It's a fucking fur monster. Monster. He's still human. But he's a monster. So starting things off, let's get this out of the way. Here is the Mayf the bootleg Mafex Deadpool. And here is the new Wolverine I already reviewed. Yes, I'm using the Vulcan hands on them. That, that, they don't match up perfectly. But if you just want to relax, chill Wolverine, get that. And then, you know, just switch ahead and all that. And honestly, he scales well with your X-Men figures, even the Mafex one. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is as tall as the Mafex one. So, yeah. And then bringing in the other two X-Men figures I have. Again, Broken Vulcan. And then, um, why does this keep going down? And then Gambit. And honestly, he still does scale well. I mean, uh, Gambit is a pretty tall dude, I guess. And I don't know much about Vulcan, I'm sorry. And going to your Avengers, I, you could say. Here he is with the Toy Biz Ultimate Captain America. And here he is with the Modular Iron Man. Now, this Toy Biz figure is obviously smaller than the Marvel Legends. But uh, there's a comparison. And if you want him with other monster-type characters, I guess you can say... Here he is with this Predator. No, not EDP 445, but, you know, the movie one. And then here he is with the worst action figure ever to be made. This Leonardo, which you should not buy at all. Make sure, one, if you ever find these, you burn them in the store and don't give a crap. No, I'm just kidding. They're not that bad to this extreme, but they're still pretty awful. See, look, it's even fucking stretching out. I haven't even used this damn thing in a while. Also, you want to know how bad this is? This shit's so fucking loose. This is ass. Don't buy it, alright? I didn't spend enough hatred towards it to my review. Don't buy it. Unless it's for your dog. Actually, don't do that either because small parts, he would choke on it. Or she, I don't know what the dog is. And then, here he is next to the greatest Marvel Legends to be made. No, I'm just kidding. Well, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man is the best Spider-Man. I don't care what you say. Your opinion is irrelevant. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, these two are obviously my favorite because I'm biased. I really like Spider-Man. Y'all can debate me, I guess. But, like, I'm not going to respond because it's a joke. And that is not it. So just because. Ending this off. Here he is with the Mattel. Elite WWE. Brock. Lesnar. And why do I bring this figure into here? I never bring other figures outside the toy line. Or outside the brands I guess. Well. That's leading up to the next review. Now, honestly, this isn't from the time period or anything. Let me set Beast aside and tell you why I truly did this review. Because, oh yeah, it's Macho Madness. Yeah, that's right. I got the Macho Man, Randy Savage. When he joined NWO, this is going to be the next review. I want to see him scaled next to... Beast, here he is. He is pretty short and he fits well with your Marvel Legends if you think about it. But oh yeah, you better watch out for that review. That was the worst Macho Man impression you will ever hear. I promise I'll try to get better at it. But yeah, next time, get ready. Uh -huh. I love you guys, I really do. I'm having so much fun with these it's figures and videos. Y'all are the highlight of my life on Fridays. Saturdays, Sundays, whenever I decide to record. Alright, peace.